Welcome back to my lore series on Aspects of Morn. This is the final of the trio for River Grace. This is Moxem Sume. Jokorum. Now, you're probably sitting there, what? That's an interesting name. Yeah. The first word, mm, it's kind of a nod to samurai swords, but not. I kind of just, like, I meshed two words together and said, okay, let's, let's go with it. Um, the other will become apparent in a moment. Mox is a Shadow Reaper. Yep, Servant of Death. Uh, Mox's touch does not end life, but rather chills those she touches, unlike normal Reapers, who can actually end your existence if the fates have deemed it your time. Her scythe is able to cut shadows of objects, rendering them useless for a time. This is, goes for magical and technological devices. Um, she can fly in draconic like shadow wings and even breathe shadowy flames that burns the shadows of others until doused. Uh, this is quite painful for the person that belongs, the, who the shadow belongs to, but it doesn't seem to leave any lasting physical harm. Now, it should be noted that uh, reapers like this have been assigned special tasks. Her special task will be revealed. That doesn't mean she's done. She's kind of my nod to Pratchett's death who walks around. She's really cool. She has these, like, wraps as uh, she has leather armor and wraps around her arms and legs and feet. And she's, in my head, she looks really freaking cool. Um, she has long, flowing, shadowy hair and shadowy wings. Oh, gosh. She's a cool character that I tried for a long time to come up with something that it would work and when this book started taking shape I was like let me try to take another stab at her and her current iteration came into it just flowed just flowed so well <sighs> I can't wait for you guys to read this story River Grace is going to be pretty good with that I will see you in the near future thank you for listening